Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no! Okay, so uh, why don't we start from the beginning? Uh, sure. Your name and everything. And um, Tom Bostic, and this is my BB-8. Um, so, just some, some of the inner workings here. Um, we have the drive system. We have uh, a, lot, a lot going on in there. Um, this is a carry drive system designed by Kerry uh, Christie. Um, basically, we have an axle shaft here that spins the actual ball while the rest of this stays uh, hopefully upright. Um, you have uh, magnets that hold the head on the tower up top here, the servo that spins it. This tower actually can tilt side to side. It can also tilt front to back. Um, and then, of course, you know, driving forward and backward. And then your big weight down there is the counterweight that allows it to spin in circles. This is quite an engineering feat. Um, it is. A lot of people worked, uh, you know, trying to sort out the right way to make one of these happen and uh, what works and what doesn't work. And, tweaks in the programming and the servos and you know speeds and that kind of thing um, and there's still a lot of adjustments you can do but um, it's pretty well got it worked out. What kind of reactions have you gotten from the people who've seen it driving around? Uh, yeah people are pretty much not used to seeing an actual BB-8 driving around so it's just not something you see all the time. There's not a ton of these actually done and functioning uh, in the country so pretty cool to have it out and actually let people check it out and see that it, that it can't happen and it's real. So fiction has inspired reality? Pretty much. Pretty much. I mean, think about it. The, uh, you know, the cell, the cell phone is the communicator of Star Trek, you know? I mean, we're, they come up with it, uh, you know, in science fiction and years later we are carrying them in our pockets. So it won't be long until everybody has to be made. Can you tell us about the club that uh, we were interested in? Um, I mean, for BB-8 specifically, there's a forum online, the uh, the BB-8 Builders Forum, and, and it's, um, you know, anything you can think of is on there. People have tried it, people are trying it, people that are coming up with different ways, um, static droids, real droids, functioning droids, BB-9, the pneumatic droids. Um, so a lot of different methods of getting to this point, a lot of different drive systems, a lot of different um, styles of the actual housing, um, 3D print methods, so there's great informational spot to check out you know, all your options there and, you know, and, and get built. And the controller This is uh, just the Xbox controller, which is essentially Bluetooth. Um, I, Move him while uh, his panel's off there, but you know, the forward, backward spin, head spin. Shots, you know, people started figuring stuff out and designing panels and on and on. I did my first one years ago, and it all on my own as far as the drive system went, and it functioned okay. It lose its head every once in a while. Um, I didn't have quite the tech, uh, you know, that, that these guys have put into this drive system. Um, you know, I went back and revisited it probably uh, about three or four months ago. Um, I decided that the drive systems have come a long way. The tech has come a long way. And um, I, you know, I, I really like the way the new uh, the new sphere works out without having an inner structure. Um, and I just, you know, what I'm going to build a new one and leave my other one just hanging out. And I'll start over, and I did. And, uh, you know, happy I did. This is it's, it's been something that's fun. I've worked on some R2s and built all sorts of vehicles and have the the land speeder in there. Um, but this was certainly a challenge. That's for sure. What what have you found to be the most challenging part? I mean, it's a ball, so it doesn't want to stay still. <laughs> it doesn't want to cooperate at all. When you're trying to like fix a wire, tighten a bolt, like it is the most difficult thing that you know. I, I spent really an entire day just assembling, 
you know, this was assembled outside, tested it, and then to assemble the ball around it and then get in there and tighten up all the little Allen screws and make sure all the gaps were closed and, and then finish the final wiring. It was just a lot, a lot of taking your time, taking a deep breath and getting in there and, you know, and making it happen. I was thinning. Uh, head this all on with magnets. Magnets on there and wheels and magnets on the tower.